Good morning everyone. Today me and my team are here to present a project based on various techniques for teaching structural analysis. Through the technique of Bloom taxonomy, we are presenting a structural analysis of a suspension bridge. It is a set of three hierarchical models used to classify educational learning objective into levels of complexity and specificity. The three list of cover learning in cognito, affective and sensory component of bridge with reference to molar kit the model of suspension bridge is constructed with the help of molar kit consisting of various components now we will talk about molar kit theory it is an interactive physical model that stimulates the behavior of architectural structures the material present are magnetic in nature and lightweight which helps in making the desirable structure this kit can build different structural systems which can help us visualize the movement and deformation of their elements to begin with firstly with the base plate the base plate is placed on the ground which acts as the surface the component named ground connections acting as a footing which bears the load of the entire structure or suspension bridge then the bending bars used to support the bridge are fixed on the ground connections the bars act as the abutments and piers of the bridge which tends to transfer the axial load of the bridge to the foundation and to the ground piers tend to have horizontal force the different connections such as rigid connections are used to the fix the various components to hold together the deck is assembled on support which are piers and abutments on which the traffic moves there are several loads acting on the deck such as live load and dead load these loads are transferred to the ground with the help of cables whose ends connect to the tower which are replaced above the piers and abutments different connections are provided to join various parts of the bridge which includes rigid and stiffened connections the bar stiffness is used in towers to resist the bending moment produced due to various loads on the cable the cable are under tension while the towers are under compression the cable is anchored deep into the ground to keep the cable in tension this anchorage point helps the engineer to keep all the forces in equilibrium components of a suspension bridge stiffening girders the main suspension cable main tower anchorage for cable attached of bridge now if you have made this far we would like you to attend a small quiz which will help us to evaluate the outcome of our video thank you so much